I'm here with Nagar from Sarshasma, and also delighted to have you here as one of our sponsors for the <laughs> for the Iranian Hotel Investment Conference. Um, now, tell us a little bit about your company. I know you're a consultancy practice, a multi consultancy practice, but I assume with a specialty in hotels. Absolutely correct. So we're a multi-sector um, advisory firm, um, but we do have a focused um, area, which is hotel tourism and hospitality. Um, so we do market research, feasibility studies, um, and executive search, um, and any type of advisory for new entrants into the market from strategy to operationals um, and getting things going and doing even interim management to help companies um, set up and get going um, to begin with. So you're really doing the right from the start, from the finding the site all the way through to opening. Absolutely. Within the hotel um, industry, we start with projects when the project is just a land or is an idea. Uh, We do market research, feasibility studies, highest and best use analysis to figure out what the best use is, or if the owner has their heart set on a hotel to figure out what the best concept would be um, and making sure that the concept would be feasible given the area, given the hotel location size, etc. Um, then we begin operator search, finding investors, finding operator for the hotel, all the way um, through um, hotel opening and operation. And then once that starts, then we try to stay uh, with the owners in asset management and in operational advisory. So I think you're the only Iranian company, consultancy company here at the conference and as one of our sponsors. So why uh, that must give you a particularly unique uh, advantage over some of the international consultancy practices that are participating. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we are the only um, local consultancy firm uh, present um, today at the conference. We're also the only local uh, consultancy that is a focus in um, hotel and hospitality um, sector in Iran. Um, there are a lot of uh, consultancy over the last two years that are coming in Iran and it's great and we we welcome them because I think it will raise standards uh, locally and it would make the culture of advisory more known um, to the domestic market. And so what are you finding are some of your challenges at the moment or or certainly what are your clients finding are the challenges? Is it, is it finance? Is it finding a site? Is it the uh, the horrendous pri- uh, price of land in Tur- Tehran, for example? Um, so within hotel and hospitality, the main challenges um, that the projects are finding at the moment is finance. And there are a lot of good land banks that are very suitable, very strategic um, locations for hotel development. Yes, you're right. Um, the prices are expensive, um, especially if you look at the main cities. Uh, but there are very good lands available. So I wouldn't say land is Im- the immediate issue. Um, but the capital to develop these lands to good projects is one of the obstacles um, to begin the project. And for the projects that are running and are operational, then we obviously have um, the human resources issues, the training, the service concepts, standardization and classification of the hotels, bringing them to the stand, to the international um, level um, are the challenges that are the industry is currently facing. I, I, I must I think that your company needs all sor- sorts of advisory services to help the industry, from recruitment, of course, to education, through to uh, finance. So what area is it that you find you're spending most of your time on or that you're going to focus on? Um, so in the last two years, um, I think we're evolving as the market is evolving. In the last two years, there's been a lot of market research and a lot of feasibility studies. Recently, we're seeing a lot more operator search requests um, and a lot of requests um, for finance as the projects are evolving and our, uh, the concepts are being set. Um, and as we go along and as these projects become operational, I think definitely recruitment um, and uh, training would be the next topic that the market would require. And as advisors, we try to um, evolve with the market and with the market needs and we bring subject expert matters uh, when it's needed um, to our in-house capabilities to ensure that we can stay with the clients and support them throughout the project life cycle. Okay. And from uh, from your client's perspective, uh, when they're looking at our sector, do they understand the mechanics of it yet, i.e., the operators are there to operate on a management contract and are not going to put any money in. 
That's an excellent question, and um, to be honest, no. Um, it's, it's obviously getting much better. You know, the market is understanding the market, um, the, the, the situation and the concept a lot better than they did two years ago uh, when a lot of the operators began to enter the market. Um, but it's still not completely there. So the conferences such as this one really helps in educating the market in the, mar in the domestic market, understanding um, how the model works internationally and what the best international practices are in establishing such a model. Okay. And uh, finally, tell me a, a little bit about the conference here today. Are you finding it useful and, and why are you here? Yeah, it's been extremely interesting so far. Um, we're here because um, there are a lot of both international and domestic players here, and we want to make sure that we evolve with them, we stay close to them. Um, and so far, it's been extremely interesting and extremely thought-provoking. Uh, this morning, we've ha heard from some of the governmental entities, and uh, just the last couple of speeches, we've heard about some of the CEOs of the, the main hotel brand, so it's been very enlightening. <laughs> Excellent. Well, listen, thank you so much for participating in this conference and for being part of this journey for our, our first event. Nigar, thank you so much. Absolutely, our pleasure. <laughs> Hopefully the first of many to come. <laughs>